What's going on everybody? My name is DJ Carlo Atendido and today I'm going to teach you a hip-hop DJ transition technique that involves using an acapella to mix between two songs. This transition technique is a stepping stone to quick mixing and a pretty cool way to just show off how good you are in DJing. It works by playing an acapella during the first song's outro section or during a section where beats just play, then echoing that first song away, then squeezing in the next song in, all while the acapella is still playing. Then finally, echoing and scratching out that acapella away as you approach the end of the second song's intro. Now this is all easier said than done, so stay tuned for more details in this tutorial. So if you guys want to follow along with this video, all the songs I'm going to use here are all available for download down below or right over here. And you can really support this channel by donating and downloading as you go. Anyway, let's begin. So the first thing you should do is load up a song to deck 1 and the acapella we're going to use on deck 2. Here are some things to keep in mind in what acapella you choose. Number 1. Make sure it's a simple phrase that you think can get the crowd going. So stuff like put your hands up in the air, or the roof is on fire, etc. will be good. Number two, it will be best to have a pre-made loop already made. So for this example, 2.1 on my acapella is already a 16-beat loop. And number three, it's not required but is advised to mix in key. So make sure the songs you're going to use are in the same key range so that your blending will sound smooth and coherent. Now the next step is to play your first song and wait for a session where beats just play. So that could be the chorus or outro section. In our example, we're using DJ Turn It Up by Yellow Claw, a twerk song. So we'll be mixing during the chorus section. So we'll play our first song and wait for the session where we'll mix in our acapella. Once you reach it, we'll immediately play our acapella on deck two. DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back. Tell the DJ bring it back. Now our first song's chorus is about 32 beats long and the looper of acapella is about 16 beats long. So we'll want our audience to first absorb the acapella and enjoy it. So we'll let the acapella and the first song's chorus go along with each other for the first 16 beats. Then for the remaining 16 beats of the first song's chorus, we'll echo out it away and have it completely gone, ideally by the 28th beat. Now when you transition out of the first song, you'll have to quickly load and play your next song along with a cappella in the span of just 4 beats right at the moment when the acapella repeats itself. This all happens pretty fast, but don't worry though. This is just my preference because I like mixing fast. You can give yourself more leeway and play the next song in the span of 8 beats instead. It's totally up to you and your discretion. So once you get that difficult part done, you can either do three things as a second song and a cappella play together for the next 32 beats. Number one, you can just let the a cappella and intro play together until the intro ends. Number two, you can echo out or filter the a cappella out of the third song as the intro reaches its end. And number three, you can freestyle scratch the a cappella as you approach the end of the intro. 
Now, I personally prefer doing the latter because I'm a scratch nerd, so let's just do that. But let's also combine the scratching with an echo effect to properly send off the acapella and welcome in the next song. And that's it. This is one of my favorite ways to transition because it's a quick way to mix, but then just show off your scratching skills. Now, for you beginners out there, I know this tutorial is not the easiest lesson to follow, but with enough practice, I'm sure you guys will get it down. So, did you guys enjoy this video? If you did, please do let me know in the comment section down below, and also let me know by liking this video and subscribing. And with that said, this is DJ Carlo Atendido, and I will see you all in the next one. I definitely suggest you guys to first use whatever you have with you right now. So if that's your cell phone, this app, if that's your laptop, then use that. But if you really want to get started in DJing, what's the best thing that you can buy? Definitely whatever you can afford. Use whatever that is to get you where you want to go. Remember, at the end of the day, it's not the, it's not the equipment you use, it's how you use it. Be it a phone, a computer, or like a crappy controller.